Hey guys, Miles finally back uh, with a uh, with a Kagero deck profile. Um, I picked this clan up last summer, and I uh, willingly suffered at a full time job, ruining my social life and any hope to actually use the deck in order to pay for it. So y'all better uh, appreciate this. So it's uh, it's an Overlord deck, you know, um, mainly like with the Legend deck that came out a while back. Uh, I really wish I could have gotten this to you sooner, um, but. Whatever, at least you're seeing it now. So the starter, uh, Lizard Hero Undu, it's like basic, it's literally just GB1 act, you know, it's a forerunner, um, Counter Blast 1, shove into soul, search your deck for an overlord, and add it to, is it added to your hand, and add it to your hand after revealing it to your opponent. So it just gets you overlords, that's good for the G unit, um, th that's good for the ace, that's good for, you know, just getting a better grade 3, although, uh, that actually doesn't matter, I'll show you that it doesn't matter, yeah, it doesn't matter, okay. Um, going into triggers, run 8 crit, because it's a Saki Overlord deck that restands. Um, make sure that the criticals are Flame Dragons, because the Legend skill allows you to search Flame Dragons out of the deck, or out of the top of the deck. So, like, there may be, you know, there may be cases where you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need, like, a rear guard, but you might want to use the hand, you, you know, you might want to use the 10k shield. So, yeah, um... Eight, eight crit, eight flame dragon crits. Uh, four flame dragon heal triggers. This is even more important because, you know, now you can use heal triggers for G guardians. So you get to search out your G guarding fodder. And finally, four flame dragon draw triggers, but not just any. This shit is Gatling Claw Dragon. You guys know this back from like, what, BTO2? Yeah, it's act, counter boss one, shove into soul, Kill off your opponent's grade zero unit of your choice. Oh, they've got a pesky little starter that you want to kill off? Then go ahead and just literally slap that shit down, counterblast, shove it into soul, and kill off their starter. You don't need to do, like, anything else. It's just completely, like, you can, you can use it turn two, as long as you just have a counterblast. That's it. And it's fantastic. Uh, moving on to the grade ones, we got two, um, Spear of the Flame Dragon Tar. This is a new unit in the Legend deck, or old unit in the Legend deck. Its skill is um, Act, once per turn, GB1, Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Pick a unit and give it 4k, and it also gains the skill where, on attack, um, you check the top 5 cards of your deck for a Flame Dragon card and add it to your hand. Is it for a grade 3 or greater Flame Dragon add it to your hand? So it helps to search out Overlord for the Ace, or, you know, just Stride Fodder, it's nice. Um, you can also stack it on your overlords that restand, so you'll be able to do the search twice, which is like, I mean, that, that's pretty good because you can get potential two uh, flame dragons. Um, for Lizard, uh, Lizard General Conroe, uh, first skill is on call, um, reveal a grade three, search your deck for Dragonic Overlord, the legend. Is it specifically. No, just no. no, it's search for an overlord. So kids, if you run the Legion, if you run the break ride, if you run the end, if you run the cross, or if you decide to be the real pro and not hate yourself for building Kaguro, and you run the very original Dragonic Overlord, then this card is for you because you can search it out just like that, just by revealing and discarding one card. So um, I don't use, I don't mean, that's nice and all, but I like it for its other skill. It's literally just kill itself. Um, your Vanguard gains the skill where, when it attacks, counter charge two. So with the restanding Vanguards, you can do a total of counter charge four. And this deck is very counter blast heavy. So this card's fantastic to have for it. Um, four stride fodder. The deck strides a lot, actually. So four is pretty standard. And um, four PGs, flame dragon PGs, make sure they are because again, you know, who doesn't love being able to search out flame dragons? Uh, I would suggest running the um, GPG from BTO1 because, or GBTO1 because you know you get to unflip. However, while I was working and earning a good amount of money to build this deck, I was not willing to drop like a hundred dollars on a playset of of GPGs when I could just use you know ordinary ones. But yeah, ideally use GPGs. So that's it with the grade ones. Uh, moving on to grade twos. The first one is. Um, Emperor Dragon Knight Nahalem. It's the new uh, new Nahalem. Basically, his skill is uh, when it attacks or a continuous GB one. Um, when your uh, or during your turn, if you have a Vanguard, uh, if you have an Overlord Vanguard, uh, this unit gains two K, and it also gains Red Tech skill. When your Vanguard attacks, it gains five um, K, and again with a Restanding Vanguard, it gains five K twice. So. 
it's gonna be 11K base, and then after you attack your Vanguard twice, you can swing with this alone for 21. No triggers at all needed. Like, that's just a that's just generally a really good number to hit with. I mean, who doesn't love hitting 21 by attacking with another Vanguard for costless? Um, three Berserk Lord Dragon. It should actually be four. I have this guy in the deck for no reason. Like, I haven't used it, but, um, yeah, uh, he should be a Berserk Lord. So, four Berserk Lord. Uh, its skill is, um, uh, its skill is, uh, GB1, counterbust one, um, when your, uh, when your grade four or greater, uh, Vanguard attacks, um, you can pick one of your opponent's rear guards and retire, or you counterblast one, okay, sorry, on attack of your, um, of your grade four or greater Vanguard, when it attacks, yeah, when it attacks, you counterblast one, pick unit and retire, so that's, like, nice, but you can also, when it restands, you know, counterblast again, so you can get, like, two retires off, and I mean, while that is a bit counterblast heavy, again, you have Conroe for the unflip, so it's, like, it, it, it could potentially be a costless retire of two, and that's really nice. And then finally, just three uh, Dragonic Burnout. This card's pretty simple. It's just on call. If you have a Kagura Vanguard, you Soul Blast one, pick a, uh, an Overlord unit in your drop zone, put it back on the bottom of the deck, pick a, uh, pick a unit on your opponent's field, and retire it. This is nice just in case, like, you know, you you like discarded one of your overlords for um playing paying stride or like pg fodder or literally you know you healed it from the damage zone you can call this and send it back to the deck and you can put you know if you get a reshuffle off eventually you can like actually i think this does reshuffle um no it's just put it on the bottom of your deck never mind but yeah you can like search out your overlords again so it can help to recycle uh onto the grade threes the main unit of the deck dragonic overlord the legend i love this card it's um so it's first, well, I'll give you its second scale, you know, because save the best one for last. Uh, it's um, on ride, counter blast one, soul blast one, check the top five cards for a flame dragon, reveal it, and add it to your hand. I think pretty much every card, in, almost every card in this deck is a flame dragon, so you basically can search out whatever you want. You know, like PGs, um, the draw trigger to kill off their starter, or like you know, this for retiring. It, it's just nice. And it's set, it, its first skill is even better. Act once per turn, GB2. You can counterblast one and um, choose a flame dragon, uh, choose a grade three flame dragon from your hand and discard it. This unit gains 15K, drive plus one and grade plus one. It li you, 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 you literally like counterblast one and pay the cost for stride, but you know, only with a grade three and you literally turn it into a G unit. But it also gains the scale where once per turn after it attacks a rear guard, you can discard three cards and have it restand. Um, so, you know, like again, you use that with Conroe. You would, uh, let's say you have like three counter blasts, you use its skill, that makes four that makes four face down damage. You retire Conroe, you attack with it once to the rear guard. Conroe's skill goes off unflip two, discard your uh, you know, discard three, and then you just restand and attack your opponent's vanguard, then counter charge counter charge the other two. So that's really nice. Um if you don't get it as your ride, don't fret because the backup grade three is here to save that. Um, Spherical Lord Dragon, its uh, skill is um, GB1, when your Overlord Vanguard attack on rearguard, when your Overlord Vanguard attacks, uh, it gains 5k, so it's literally just, um, it's, it's a, a Nahalem skill, uh, but its second skill is great too, it's, um, when, uh, when you ride, when, when this unit is placed to Vanguard, you can counter blast two, search your deck for a, um, Overlord grade three, and superior ride it over this, and then I believe... Uh, you use to the stand and then choose a spherical lord dragon from your soul and call it out. So it's like, oh no, I miss road. Uh, counter boss two, superior ride the legend on top and then call out a rear guard. I mean, it's counter boss two, but again, Conroe helps for that. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, change it to um, uh, Dragonic Overlord uh, the end, or I mean the great uh, for Legion. Like, um, there are some cases where I, I have had games where I'm like, damn, if only I had, like, eight overlords in this deck for, uh, for, um, like, like my, uh, G units. And, uh, there, the, the, I mean, I do sometimes regret it, but in the end, this deck has worked out really well for me. Like, it, it, it's super consistent. Um, the, 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 the counter bus too, like, can kind of hurt, but not that much. And, um, like... Again, Nahalem's skill is uh, only Nahalem's plus five k is only when your grade four Overlord attacks. So if you even if you wanted to use Legion, um, it wouldn't gain power. So like, 
there are some cards, you know, just they don't gain full benefit. Again, though, you can kind of search it out with Conroe. Like, there are good reasons to run it. Um, and, you know, with the mate, you could just, like, thin out. You could, like, run less um, Berserk Lord for less counter blasts. So that's a, that's still a viable build. I just like this one. It's, it's more fun. Uh, okay, so G units. Main one is um, four copies of Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon... Over uh, Dragonic Overlord, the Ace. This card's great. It's uh so, it's um act counterblast two and um uh flip a copy of it face up in the G zone, uh you know face down to face up, and um it gains the scale where when it attacks or well first off I think it gains like. Yeah um if the number of cards in your G zone is two or more it gains drive check minus one and the scale after it attacks discard an Overlord and one other card from your hand. Oh, and this unit can attack a Vanguard. Like, it's not like the other Overlords where it has to attack a Rearguard to restand. You can go Vanguard, discard an Overlord and another card, restand, attack Vanguard again, and it gains 5k upon um, restanding. And again, you use it with Conroe, you get more unflips. That Counter Blast 2 becomes literally nothing. Like, you, you, you just discard two cards to restand. Uh, so that's fun to use. Um, your other good, f it's a good finisher and it's a good way to rack up damage too. And speaking of finishers, uh, Transcendence, uh, Transcendence Divine Dragon, Novel Vague Lexpress, or whatever you call it. Um, doesn't it mean the train or something? Mm -hmm. The hype train? Okay, uh, so this unit's skill is, um, act, counterblast one, and, um, uh, choose a copy of itself from the G-Zone and flip it face up. It gains the skill where when it attacks, your opponent can't guard with, um, uh, okay, what is it? It's your opponent can't guard with grade one cards or grade one or greater cards. Just grade one. Grade, oh yeah, no, it is. Yeah, okay, it's grade one only, so they can't PG um, or Quintet Wall. Uh, but um, the better part is that if your opponent's at five damage, their triggers get canceled. So it's like, you, you guys remember Novell, you know, no grade zeros and your triggers get canceled. This is basically just like, a G unit of Novell with glory skill on it. And um, so yeah, it, it makes a good finisher because like if you not if they're at five damage and they have to take this hit, that is indefinitely game. Um or definitely game, whatever. Uh so then this guy, um so uh, Supreme Heavenly Dragon, Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon, Dragonic Blade Master Titan, and uh its skill is act once per turn, GB2, counterblast one, um, choose any G unit and flip it face up and um, pick up to, the, uh, up to the same number of face-up titans in your G-Zone. Uh, pick, pick, uh, pick the same number of rear guards as the same number of face-up titans in your G-Zone and retire them. Then, if this unit is blazing, which is you know, the, new uh, the new Kagura keyword, which is uh, when it attacks, uh, if, you have, um, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, it, it becomes blazing. It starts blazing it, you know? Uh, it gains a crit. So if it's blazing, it gains a crit, and that's just nice to rack up damage. Um, I only run three because I run one uh, Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon Vortex Desire, which is on attack. You flip a copy of any you flip any G unit face up, and against skill where on hit uh, when it hits the Vanguard, you retire one rear guard for all units originally on the Vanguard circle. So it's like you attack with this, flip a copy of Titan, and then next turn you would stride Titan, flip up the other copy, you get to kill off two rear guards. If you have a field of four, then you're definitely gonna be blazing, you're definitely gonna gain that crit. Um, now moving on to the G Guardians, I run one Supreme Heavenly Emperor Dragon, uh, defeat Flare Dragon. When you, uh, when you guard with it, you counter blast one, and you pick two Flame Dragon Grade 3s from your drop zone, and you send them back to the bottom of the deck, retire all of your opponents, uh, if you have, well, if you have a Van if you have an Overlord Vanguard, um, you uh, retire all opponents' rear guards in the back row, and that does kill resist units because it's not directly targeting them. You just, you wipe out their back row, and that's great for stuff that has, like, you know, heavy um, Grade 1 support. And then three... Denial Griffin, uh, Flame Wing, Steel Beast, Denial Griffin. It's, this is like one of the best G-Guardians in the game. It's when you guard, counter bless one, kill the attacking unit. So it's like, oh man, you're swinging at me for like, so, you know, Neo Nectar in the, you know, in this case, just to trigger Gabe. Like he's swinging at me for those massive ass numbers. Okay, cool. Uh, kill it. Like that's it. You just, you just kill off the attacking unit. You don't need to guard. You just drop your heel, counter bless one, and it's dead. So... That's the deck profile. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed.
it's good to have done another one. I'm sorry if I talk too long because I know some people are complaining about that on my Shadow Paladin deck profile. So this is Miles signing off. Have a happy holiday.